So this is an antigen rapid test kit, similar to the home test kits you might buy off the shelf in a pharmacy. I want to find out everything you need to know about these self-swabbing test kits. What happens in between is the color of the paper changes if these plugs are present in that fluid. It will light up as a colored line at the test T mark in the reading window. From the point we're exposed to COVID-19, it takes up to 14 days for symptoms to show. The viral load is the highest, between days 5 to 7. This is when you are most infectious. Anything outside of that 2-day infection window, where the viral load is highest, the self-swabbing kits have a higher chance of false positive and false negative results. A false positive result means that a person is wrongly diagnosed as infected, whereas a false negative means a true infection is missed. An inaccurate result could happen because of two scenarios. One, you are testing outside your most infectious period. Or two, the result of improper sample collection, such as contaminating your swab sample. It's important to follow the manufacturer's instructions because some of the test kits are a little bit different, but th this is what we do for this one. So the first thing she's doing is washing her hands and we, we want to make sure everything on the specimen is actually from her nose. It's important to go in two centimetres, do the ten swirls in each nostril. So now she's opening the solution, which is where she'll put the, the specimen. And again, it's another ten swirls. She's just squeezing a little bit, not too hard, but just enough to really try and get off as much material as she can from that swab. I, is that squeezing really important? Because do some yeah, people we, just dip it and just... That's a common mistake for people doing it on their own. And obviously, if, if, if there's virus there, we want to get as much of the viral particles into the solution as we can. Okay, so now she's going to drip it into the machine, if you like. You have to put it in the, in the small dot. I've also seen some people put the drops on, the, on that area where the C and T is, you know, directly. I mean, does it make a difference? Of course, no, that's not how you do the test. So that, that would be invalid because it has to, it has to move along and it's that movement of, of the viral material that, that highlights whether it's a positive test or a negative. And that's why it's important to, to do everything well. Mm -hmm. 